ball! Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Cry Penguin video. Today, we are here again on Balloons Tower Defense 6. Now, this is actually my second video that I've recorded today. Uh, because the first video that I had, um, I had Anakin with me and he, well, the whole video had no audio. And I don't think you guys would have enjoyed a no audio video. So we're here and this is going to be the start of our very first get. Get get all get all the black border uh, series, yeah. Mm. As you can see, I already have Monkey Meadow and Resort Black Bordered, and that's pretty sad, seeing as how long I've played this game and how little maps I've actually ever played. Ever, like seriously, all expert maps I basically have not played. Most advanced maps I haven't even played. Uh, which is pretty sad, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I've only ever played, like, these 12. Which is sad, because I'm only 107. So, we are going to get right into this. With our very first one being alternate balloon rounds. So, to start off alternate rounds, I threw down a ninja, gave him some discipline, and then made a shuriken seek. After that, I put down the hero, and I chose antennae. Not for any particular reason, but, like, I never use him, so I thought it'd be interesting. On round 10, I forgot about leads and tried to stop them with a sniper, but I was broke. Thus, RIP to those lives. <laughs> After that, I put down a wizard and gave him some intense magic and FIREBALL! And then gave him some sense. Made him an 022 and... Mm, made him an 022 and gave the ninja some caltrops or some. Then decided to save up for flash bomb and put down a cluster bomb. It makes things go boom. Next, I made the ninja a 204 and gave the and gave the cluster bomb heavy bombs and turned it into a recursive. Put down a village and berserker brew elk and made a 024 wizard. Gave the village jungle drums and I looked for a good spot to put down a super monkey. Turned him into Batman and I got an MIB, leveled up the elk to stronger sim. And at this point, I basically won. So I just threw down some random towers I needed XP on, and boom. Victory. Alternate rounds, easy. Next up was Impopable. I decided to go with Attack Shooter Dart Monkey beginning, getting the Attack Shooter up to 202, then got a Ninja and put him down on the stump, and got him to a 101. After that, I felt pretty confident, so I saved up for a 10A and, and Caltrops, Got hot shots on my tag and put down a one, an 011 wizard. Next, I got all 2,700 books for flash bomb. Made the wizard an 022 and just barely got enough money for sticky bomb by round 40. I mean, barely. Next, I got another bomb shooter and got it all the way up to recursive. After that, I knew I need to greet super hard because I spent way too much time on my defense when still need a lot of money for late game. So I got four 220 nanner farms, upgraded one to a plantation, then made my wizard a necromancer. Got the rest of my nanner farms up to plantations and decided now was the time to put down the super monkey. Got him all the way to Batman again and thought, hmm. My current my current amount of nanner intake is not enough. I know what I need. More nanner farms. So I got another plantation and upgraded it into a BRF. Then I started the long haul into getting my super monkey into literally Batman. I did get an elk to, an elk to buff Batman and put down two jungle drum villages. Decided again I did not have enough cash. So I so I got a second BRF, and by then I basically won. So I spent my money getting the Ultra Jug, Prince of Darkness, Inferno Ring, and Zemasta Boma. And boom, easy. Impopable, easy. Who said impopable? It easy. Anyway, for Chimps mode, I'm going back to commentator me. Thank you very much, narrator me. So, 
for chimps, we have a very specific strategy that we have to deal with. All right. So as you can see, I've opened Greenfoot as my um, hero here. And so we're going to have to defend the first few waves with dart monkeys. I don't know if this is going to be enough. Maybe. Until we're able to save up for Oban. And we're basically going to do the druid strat. All right. Where we get all of the druids. And I mean all of them. All right. I actually have a spreadsheet on this entire thing. I'll pop it up on screen. All right. This is my game plan for chimps mode and it will probably be the same thing for every chimps mode it only works up until like some advanced maps but it is what it is right and i think the two dart monkey start will work ah, 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 come on come on snipe all the baboons all the baboons come on i actually don't know where i want to put open i'm gonna be honest so we're gonna slow her down so, I need to be able to fit six druids at least in his range. Do you think we can fit six druids up on the tree stump? Let's see. I don't know. I genuinely don't know if we can fit six druids. Plus, we have to get them all in village range, which I think we can if we stick it up here. We need to fit a lot of things inside the village range, but that's, that's fine. I think we can fit six... I'm crossing my fingers. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Like a really tight squeeze. I mean, like, probably getting close to pixel perfect. So we're going to, we're going to cross our fingers here. Uh, we can indeed fit six druids on this tree stump. Okay, that's two. So I don't know if there's pro I'm probably gonna make it so there's like a little bit of a gap. In the bottom. Three. I think I can only fit five. Uh oh. Five. Ah! Uh, okay, we're gonna res. Okay. So I wasn't able to stick all six up there, unfortunately. But I did stick a druid down here. Now, I think his pop list ability is able to get up here that's fine he isn't going to be able to hit anything basically but that's fine i am going to go check what i'm supposed to do now brb so now we get that that juicy ah uh, village um and see where i can stick it that it that it hits everything basically it's fine if it doesn't hit everything right away we just need it to hit the bigger radius which i think that does so now we just need to get that up to radar scanner and then we're getting a bomb shooter, which might be able to get up there. Let's see. It'd be really nice if we get the bomb shooter up there. Maybe? No? No, okay. Um, then we're probably gonna stick them over there. But that's we're gonna we're gonna turn back on auto start. Save up for that beautiful radar scanner. I don't think it's a huge deal if it doesn't stay in the village radius. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> and I do believe... Alright, so now we just get bomb shooter. I don't think it super matters. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping. <laughs>
Plus, this is a pretty good spot for a bomb shooter anyway. I'm begging, begging you. Now we just get recursive cluster and heavy bombs. And it's that easy, just like this. Um, now I just need to get Thorn Swarm on everything. I don't know if this guy even matters, but, you know, we're doing it anyway. Boom, easy, simple, what's next? Okay. So, now we just get Jungle Drums for everybody, and we save up. So we're gonna get Pop Lust on everybody. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exhilarating. It's gonna take 3.8 million years. So, we're just gonna have to find something to talk about while this happens. Like, um... What is your favorite movie? What's your favorite tower, actually? And why? Alright, if you're watching this and you play Balloons Tower Defense, leave a comment down below right now. You're gonna have plenty of time to write it. You're not gonna miss a single thing other than me upgrading guys to Pop Lust. So write it right now what's your favorite tower in balloons tower defense 6 or heck even in balloons tower defense 5 what is your favorite tower and why what, what's its benefits above all other towers now me me personally i don't know because like there's a lot of good towers specifically the nanner farm which isn't on ships um, it doesn't do damage or anything, but it's, you know, it, it, it's money, and I, me like money, me, me like money, so that's, that's, that's how I view it, but also, like, I feel like the best tower would be deciphered on the one that hits every type of balloon, like, obviously there's, like, the true sun god, right, but, like, Mm, and like the legend of the night is an absolutely broken tower it's broken it really is because like you know it it can hit every type of balloon as a black hole ability so as long as you have enough money i don't know if they've patched this yet i feel like i've heard that they patched this but as long as you have enough money um you can just sell and buy and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell and buy the legend of the night and you'll just never die ever you'll never die you're immortal at that point which i find like kind of too broken uh of course there's the darling gunner darling gunner is pretty cracked right um you know the mad the ray of doom uh, the path no one ever talks about because, you know, it's horrible. Um, you know. So, it's, it's, you know, it's a little, little here, little there. Um, like, obviously Super Monkey's the strongest tower. But is it really your favorite? I don't know. Personally, I also like the Sniper a lot. The Ninja, right? Specifically, like, Top Path Ninja. Because... Yeah, it's just so good. It's so good. It's so good. So many shurikens everywhere. The druid is definitely interesting. It's a it's a tower that I think I really hated on earlier, like at, at the beginning of my balloons tower defense career. <laughs> um, like I really hated on the druid just because like I didn't know its true potential, you know. Like, I didn't... I don't know. I thought it was pretty useless. But, you know, I'm beating chimps with it right now. So, who knows? Um, also, just keep writing that comment. Alright, we're saving up like 48k to get a Avatar of Wrath. So, just keep keep writing it down. Um, and what's your favorite hero? You know, since we have a bit more time. What's your favorite hero and why? Um... Oban's a pretty decent one. He's definitely not good late game. I feel like a lot of heroes aren't great late game, to be honest. 
I mean, he's definitely better than some heroes late game, like Benjamin. Benjamin is great if you're just going to, like, round 80, and that's it. Maybe. Maybe even that. Maybe, like, medium mode is kind of where he tops out at. I used to absolutely love Benjamin, use him for literally everything. I don't know anymore. Because, like, he subtracts so much money from, like, his Trojan ability, right? It makes an entire Moab, entire BFBs, which are worth hundreds of dollars, into, like, $11. Or, like, $24. And, like, that is just scamming you out of so much money. So, like, if you're only going to, like, round 60, Benjamin, your guy. Because he's going to give you so much money. Right? His, his like, hacking thing, uh, the banks, he upgrades banks. Um, which means if you're, like, a mobile player, right, and you don't want to collect all your bananas, it's more worth it if you have Benjamin to go for banks than plantations. So that's a nice, fun reason that you can use. Um, a lot of the heroes I haven't used yet, like Sada, uh, I've seen a lot of videos with her, and supposedly she can do, like, a one-tower chips. Like, one tower and beat all of this. Sada can beat this. Supposedly. I mean, that's a pretty solid tower if they can beat round 100, or even round 95, that is. So, I mean, I think they got um, nerfed quite a bit, so I don't think they can do a 1TC anymore, but they're definitely the, the start of a lot of 2TCs. Um, uh, two tower champs. Uh, there's also Geraldo, or Geraldo, however you want to pronounce it, um, with his shop. Now, shop, now, Geraldo is great hero all right he's good for paragons the paragon totem he's great early game and mid game and like late game he's still super helpful like shockingly helpful for a tower you know like a hero and uh, like without really buff well he provides every buff in the game basically he makes tower stronger he makes them faster and it, he's great. He's just an all-around amazing hero. Um, there's Quincy, which is, like, the beginner hero. Alright, like, nope. There's a lot of hate on Quincy. And, like, he does pretty decent. He doesn't do good, but he does decent. There's Gwendolyn, which can also do, I think, a uh, two or three um tower chimps uh and like they got buffed in a recent update like buffed dude Wait, are we gonna survive this yes we are going to survive this right yes okay barely uh we can actually get the avatar of wrath hey get, get out of the comment section we're getting the avatar of wrath all right mm, yeah uh, mm. all right what are, what are we um see so ya yeah. Overall, Gwendolyn, pretty strong top tier tower. Alright. Pretty, pretty slick, pretty nice, pretty, pretty mwah, right? Pretty mwah. Um, let's see. For, uh, there's a lot of, like, the bomb ones, right? Like, um, Churchill, right? I've never really used him. I haven't even bothered buying him. But I've heard by a lot of people, he's actually pretty good. So, if if a lot of people say he's pretty good, then he's probably pretty good. You know? Um, so, I'll, I'll go with their word. I'll take their word on it. And that I'll, I'll say he's probably pretty good. Um, I don't remember the other hero, but the, the captain something or other. Or commander? Commander something? I don't... I'm, I'm struggling here, guys. The other Boom Boom Tower uh, is, like, he, he gives buffs to, like, all bomb towers, I'm pretty sure. And you cannot underestimate a tower that gives buffs to bomb towers. Because that's, like, this one. Yeah, so that's, like, this one. And, oh, like, the Mortar Monkey, you know, um, I think he gives buffs to the Ace, too, and the Heli, which is really nice. Oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, oh, I can actually unlock that. Nice! Okay, anyway, 
<laughs> casually gets distracted. Mm. Um, yeah. So, I feel like that's... That probably makes him a pretty decent tower. Like, definitely not a tower to be... Or a hero to get... To be messed with, you know? Um... So, yeah. I mean, a lot of those towers... Or a lot of the heroes are pretty good. Like, Adora. Adora with her connection to... To, like, the Sun Temple and stuff. Pretty fun. Pretty nice. Um... Although, like, she isn't... She's good, but not good late game, you know? She's good early game, but not late game. Come on, guys. Adora is not good late game. They're not. Um, there's Psy. Um, I haven't used them, but I've seen a lot of people use them. And they seem to absolutely love him. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll take their word on it. Um, I don't think Psy is very good personally. I mean, I've, I, I haven't played with him a lot, so there's that, but still, I feel like, uh, so, I don't know, maybe I'll need to be persuaded, I might do a run with Psy, who knows, although that does cost a lot of money for a tower I don't think is very good, so, it's here or there. So, I mean, a lot of heroes, also, by the way, if you're trying to, like, follow this strategy, um, I got Icicle Impale, uh, MIB, so these guys can hit every type of balloon, and mostly just debuffs at this point, so, like, Balloon Sabotage, I'm gonna get two of those. And we basically win, we don't really need anything else, 96 is already beaten, or 95 is already beaten, we're, we're good, I think I'm just gonna get some more, um, Balloon Saboteurs, and, yeah, we're good, actually I might get another Ice Monkey here. Um, to slow everything down. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I can buy absolute zero in time, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so it, yeah. I don't remember what I was talking about, but yeah. So, you know, open, everybody has their perks, everybody has their downsides, you know? I'm going to double double check that I am recording. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Everybody has their ups, everybody has their downs. Round 98 is beaten, which is like the hardest one. Open's maxed out. We're beating fortified DDTs. Here's the last one. Here's the bad. And that's game. Alright, so I'm excited to see those comments down below, um, so thank you all very much for watching, uh, I had a great time recording this video, ooh, I got some extra rockets, Buccaneer and Pilot, nice, um, I had a great time recording this video, uh, I hope you all had a great time watching it, and ooh, right, nice, achievement. Um, yeah, sorry, still getting distracted. Thank you all very much for watching. I had a great time, uh, recording this. I hope you had a great time watching this. I'm not gonna have a great time editing this. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!